up, guys, and welcome to Science As We Know. I'm, of course, am your host, Momo Jiri. And we're going to be talking about something that is kind of a strange thing to talk about, but it's something that you guys should know. That bike culture in America is not what it should be. If you look at other countries, they have infrastructure, budgets put towards making biking safe. Biking, if you didn't know, is safer, cost efficient, and healthier to both us and to the environment than taking a car. Cars cause greenhouse gases, accidents. You can get in an accident on a bike, but if you hit a person on a bike, it's not as bad as hitting a person in a car. And also, two bikes colliding isn't as deadly as two cars colliding. Generally, we're talking generals here, guys. Just saying. But if you're anyone who tried biking in big cities, California, DC, New York, you realize that there isn't much room for biking. Biking nowadays is actually looked down upon because you're seen as cheap or poor, you can't afford a car, what's wrong with you? Get off the road, get on a get in a car. But biking can do so much for you. You're you could get up earlier in the day and get a sense of nature to go along different paths, go along different areas just to enjoy nature as a whole and to get to work on time. You don't have to worry about traffic jams. You only have to worry about the traffic jam of crossing the street every now and again if you have, you know, the proper bike lane. But here where I live, we have what is called the WOD Trail or the Washington Old Dominion Trail. And it stretches miles from here in like Northern Virginia all the way down cities and it, it goes far. And this is a place where you can jog, you can take your bike and go for miles. If you're playing Pokemon Go, okay, we're talking about that. If you look at Denmark and Amsterdam, they have infrastructure based entirely around biking. They put like $20 million a year towards making sure that biking is safer. They have their own lights, they have their own lanes, they have foot rest, they have bike parking lots. Parking lots for bikes, guys. This is something that America really should pick up on. We should lose the cars and pick up some bikes. Guys, if we picked up more bikes, we can lower the risk of dying by global warming or lower our impact on climate change if we just pick up a bike. This is kind of like a public service announcement, guys. You really should get a bike instead of getting a car. Or if you have a car, get a bike and just ride around more than you take your car. It does take a bit longer, but you'll feel better if you have a bike. And if you have a good bike, a bad bike, any kind of bike, it's good enough as long as you ride it. And it could take you from point A to point B very quickly if you know you do it right, you know your little side rows and everything. Just think, what if we replace all the cars with bikes? Distances may seem a bit greater, but it'll feel more of an achievement to get to those places. So guys, really think about it, get those cars off the road and get some bikes on the road and maybe we could change around the culture right now so we can have more bike friendly lanes because if you try biking anywhere right now, it's not gonna end well. And guys, thank you for watching and this is just another episode of Science As We Know It. So remember to stick around, like, comment, and subscribe. Share this around. Let people know that bike culture needs to be a thing in America. And maybe we can stop being so behind other countries. Healthcare, education, jobs. You know, all that's great and stuff, right, guys? So tell me what you think down below. Check out my last video and stay tuned for my next video in a few days. So, guys, as usual, I'll catch you later. A shooting star and you would see that if you turn up the lights and look towards